I am extremely excited today because we are going to Rochester Institute of Technology here in Rochester, New York. Rochester Institute of Technology already has a university episode. They were the first university to say yes to an episode, for which I am forever grateful. But the thing is, it was like early 2021. I couldn't come to the campus. So I said, I got to come here. I got to see this place for myself. And that's what we're doing today. This is the Magic Design Studio, and I have a feeling I'm gonna feel right at home here. This is everything I've ever wanted. How's it going? Good. I feel like I'm home. <laughs> this is awesome. So that was just the west half of the campus. We still got the east half to cover and I'm heading that way. I think it's about to be a good time for some student interviews. Like you don't want to do it too early in the morning because like people are too tired, right? They don't want to talk to you and I don't blame them. Like I wouldn't either. I'm going to start going to the east half of campus. Maybe we'll see if like after some classes let out, like people are talkative, they've kind of woken up. So this is definitely more like the residential side of campus, like pretty much everything around me here are residence halls and then like buildings for student services and places to eat. Apparently all the East Campus is actually connected by a series of tunnels underneath the buildings. Now since a lot of these are residences, I'm not going inside those because that's kind of like people's personal space. They're all connected so if you don't want to get cold in the winter, you don't have to. So here on campus you'll actually see quite a few people using sign language and that's because the National Institute of the Deaf is also over here on the East Campus. So so let's take a look at that.
Rochester, New York is a pretty decent sized city, but Rochester Institute of Technology is located on the outside of the city. So you've got these beautiful scenes of nature back here that you can take a look at. Like we got a river right here. The back of our IT is nothing but nature, okay? So there are trails that you can go up and down if you just want to take a break from the classroom vibes. And there's all sorts of like bike paths and stuff around this back part of the campus. So you can walk around and do whatever you want back here. So far, not one person has like asked me what I'm doing here. And I kind of find that funny. I like to play this game when I get to a campus, like how long will it take for somebody to just be like, hey, what are you doing? Well, yeah, whether it's a security guard or like whether it's a student, faculty, whatever, just like, I don't know how long it takes for that first person to come up to me and be like, what's going on here? I I've been here now for like two and a half hours. Nothing, nothing. I could probably just walk around here forever and no, maybe no one would say anything. I'm gonna have to make the first move. I did manage to interview a bunch of RIT students, but this video was already getting long because there was so much campus that I wanted to show you. So I decided to separate the interviews into another video that's gonna come out next week. So I hope you enjoyed the campus tour. Thank you for watching it. If you're still here, it means the world to me. And next week, we're gonna have a whole bunch of interviews with RIT students. So I hope you can check that video out too. If you're interested in RIT, check out rit.edu. If you need some help with it, go to prepwithscore.com and we can help you apply. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.